making a return to the old classic boy's axe. And although it has been nerfed quite a bit in the last few updates, I still think that this could easily be a pretty handy weapon to have in here. The attempt is going to be to try to use it alongside the alongside the fire blast, which I'm told it would be pretty good with. You know, holding enemies down while you are just shooting a flamethrower out of your glowing eye in a smoke cloud thing. I can see this being pretty good. Pair that up with something that gets uh, critical synergies or really just even uh, going for anything that gives you oil can make this very good. And I think that Boy's Axe would be a prime, uh, ooh, well, or maybe just Toxic Cloud would also be pretty good just by itself. So yeah, Boy's Axe, you throw it out, get stuck in an enemy, roots them to the ground until you call it back for a little bit of extra damage. It used to be a lot of bit of extra damage. And just being able to double bind that to the same button, double bind two of them to the same button was actually maybe one of the most overpowered runs after after they got rid of ice shards back in the day. These days, not nearly as much, but even as a utility weapon, it can still deal some pretty good damage, at least from what I've seen, with a few times that I've gotten it colorless and tried to make a, a good run out of that. So I am kind of interested in seeing how this now stacks up in the current Dead Cells landscape. It's not even so much that Boy's Axe has changed, the game itself has also changed. What with the uh, update of Plenty out here recently, and Barrel Launcher, I'm also told, might be a very good combination with it. So there's a lot of stuff to look forward to in this run, but it's still very hard to say exactly how this is going to work. Rooting is nice. It's nice, but it is not the best form of crowd control that you can get. So that can make it a little bit questionable, considering that its old usage was just a raw, pure DPS all the time, every time. You know, get your double ammo, get two boys axes, that's all you need to carry yourself through a run. So yeah, uh, Nutcracker would also be a pretty good combination if I'm just kind of spitballing what decent builds would be. But of course, right now what I'm saying is that uh, I do want to look for... I do want to look for trying to get a a fire blast and get that working with me because it just seems like a a fun combination by itself and I don't use fire blast enough. So let's check that out. Very nicely done. <laughs> only two so far only two mistakes. That's not I, I don't look if you are going to get to the point where you are counting every single time you're getting hit in dead cells. It's like you you will you will drive yourself to insanity. <laughs> I there's a point where it's just like you gotta you gotta live and let live as far as I'm concerned. Gotta go fast, of course. I mean, considering that we were originally talking, speaking about going fast, maybe no. Um, yeah, you know, we were talking before stream about maybe trying to get a cursed sword run working with like predator and everything. Imagine if I did that in that first zone. It would have been like three different deaths there before we were even able able to get out of the prisoner cells. I am I am really not looking forward to whatever that run is going to be or not going to be. It's like eventually at some point in time I'm going to at least have to try to do a curse sword run. That's going to have to be one of those that's like hey uh I know that it's like it's supposed to be to to the hand of the king. Let's say beat the first boss or the second boss. How about that? Not too bad, but as I said, I got some more interesting items that I'm looking for this time. Yeah, Fire Blast I think would be interesting. And like I said, it shouldn't be too difficult to get inflammable oil as an affix on the as, a, as an affix on the boy's axe if I possibly can, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, somebody's actually got to remind me this time because I always forget. Is this dropped by the demons or... Ah, uh, one of the other enemies that was introduced in the, the Reign of the Giant update. It's either demons or like the Ground Shaker or something. You know, the other guy that you find in the, uh, largely in the... Hmm? Okay. All right. Uh, largely in the, the caverns. Ground Shakers? Oh, so it is Ground Shakers. Wow. I, I, th I was really sure that it was just going to be demons, but, uh, well, shows what I know. Anyway, here's a good example of that rooting really helping out here. Enemies cannot turn around when they're rooted. And that means that you can abuse that to really hammer on an enemy's back. You know, speaking of also, there are a lo an awful lot of... Boy, that, that protector down there was really, really getting in the way. 
Like, how far away? That has got to be, like, the farthest distance that a protector can still actually work at. It's kind of ridiculous. Now, anyway, anyway. Uh, whatever, I've entirely lost my, um, my train of thought right now. Demons drop shrapnel axes. Yeah, which has that kind of, like, you know, melee item that is also sort of ranged feel. Like, usually you don't think of axes as being of the throwing kind. At least for me, I know. Oh, yes, I was going to say another item that could work pretty well with this is the, the Assassin's Dagger, which is also worth uh, keeping a lookout for. Because, yeah, the inability to turn around. That does mean that it's not going to be great against, uh, you know, enemies that don't have backs. Probably not going to be taking this one into the... Okay. Probably not going to be taking this one into the... Ooh. Maybe I can... Oh, man. These protectors are being... Ah. Hmm? These protectors are being quite annoying. Anyway, I was trying to trap the uh, the runner there in the spikes, but it just will not follow me, one. But also, two... Ah! My health! <laughs> ah, I'm dying and whatnot. No, no, no. Just watch. Don't believe me. Just watch. I'll be fine. Uh, you know, I'll take flashing fans. Well, you do get... Well, I don't need the flammable oil right now. What am I even talking about? Anyway, use vamp. <laughs> I mean, if I had the chance to, maybe I would. Is there a vampirism somewhere around here that I missed? Or was it in the shop? Is it worth spending that much money in the shop just to get vampirism? Eh. Is it worth getting malaise just to heal up off of 0% health? I say no. Time to restart the run? No. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. And I am not going to do that. Hey, check out this combination, though. Pretty swanky. <laughs> See? Why would I get rid of that uh, that combination that is so good right now just because I have no health literally? <laughs> one health. I have but one health. Look, you all are freaking out. And it's like, is this the Cursed Sword run already? No, no. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Just a tad of Cursed Swordness to it. I would just call it merely the Cursed Run, and not else. Okay. See, this is a good opportunity, besides, to uh, go start out trying to really abuse the, uh, the boy's axe. Because, you know, it is a big ranged weapon. And that does mean that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of that just by itself. If you die, I'm going to laugh at you. Whatever, laugh. Let them eat cake and whatever. <laughs> I, I believe that is the exact phrase that was used. Um, okay. Just kind of watch out where I'm jumping. Because if I go into spikes, I mean, I might die. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say as of right now if I would die or not. By the way, this uh, weapon is a reference to the God of War 2017, 2018? When did that come out? Whoa, where did all these guys come from? You know, whatever, that was weird. Um, anyway. A game I have not played. Now that's it. Not really too much else to be said there. See, this is such a good combination that I don't even need to have help. Health is just a luxury that I can't and won't afford. God of War was 2018. Oh, wow. That was sooner than I... I that feels older. Doesn't it? Is that just me? Like, that feels like a game that's been around for a while now. Much like uh, Kratos himself in the game. Cheap man will not afford health care. <laughs> I didn't realize the outright was a big part of it. Oh, come on. Like, uh, ah, uh, uh, damn it. Fine. I was totally willing to see it through, but it's like, to give up on a stat just to stick to my principles? You know that I am not that principled. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the rift. I just won't do it with zero health. That's, that's absurd. And you may also laugh at me if I could have done this without stuff. You don't need health. 
I mean, to be fair, I think, <laughs> well, I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I do think I am pretty good at these challenge rifts. Observe how I get through it without any, taking any damage anyway. I could have, I could have done that with one HP. It would have been fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. What's done is done. Doc, you're good at everything. Oh, ooh. ooh. Um, anyway. <laughs> Why did I say that? Again, it's like I said before. It's like trying not to do pee-pee poo-poo streams. <laughs> Rip flask. I'll refill it back up. It's fine. Should have probably gone for the 60 kills there, but let's be honest. I think clearing out of their ASAP was maybe the best idea. <laughs> All right. Subtle flex. Only the most subtle of flex. <laughs> Everything except for Risk of Rain 2. I've tried. <laughs> hey, go check out the last stream for a pretty decent run that I had there. And then, unfortunately, did not pan out in the way that I wanted it to. Magic. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird glitch that still happens with the boys' axe for some reason. I, 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 don't, I don't know why. Yeesh. Take him down. Uh, I want to try and get you. Okay. Big lip smack there for good measure. All right. Yeah. I'm glad they've still never fixed that. <laughs> they shouldn't ever fix it, really. <laughs> okay. What you got? Cool, cool, cool. That will be good for healing. Worst comes to worse. If it happens, if it's what's happened in the last run, it happens again. Ah, ah. Anybody else want to come run up here and get some of this? I'm giving it out for free, baby. Okay, nobody else. Oh, <sighs> okay, okay. Is this a showcase run? Yeah, we're doing Boy's Axe today. Yeah, I was thinking Boy's Axe and um, Fire Blast, but didn't unfortunately didn't really get to get Fire Blast early enough to really make that part of the run for for sure. If I do, if that does happen to be here, it's going to be like the tonic in the um, the explosive crossbow run. Okay, good. Three left. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna choop. do that there, choop, and do that there. All right. Gotta get a legendary and double boys axe once again. I mean, it's just, the damage just isn't there in the same way that it was way back in the day. And also, you know, the game is just different. The game's just different. Boys axe didn't change, you did. Ah. Okay, same plan, same plan. There we go. Whew, rough, but working. They done change the game. Oh, good. And there's also like a um, non-infected version of that, which is going to help out a lot. Okay. Get in here so I can trap you in my devious trap. <laughs> Wait, is there like a point where they stop taking bleed or something on the grinder? I did not know that. That's silly. <laughs> Why would it be like that? Okay. Yeah, I should... If I do have the fan, I might as well really try to abuse that to get rid of the, the hammer stuff. For like that, for example. And then get that those sweet, sweet criticals. Okay. I'm okay. I still got that watered melon. The melon what which is watered. Okay, I gotta go call that axe back first off. It will stay in there for quite some time if you don't do that. Oh, yeah, parkour, by the way. I'm pretty proud of it. Ah. You could see what I was trying to do there. I was trying to hit some of the... This, 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 like this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what do we got? Damage taken inflicted on enemies. Not really all that big of a deal. Malice Dolls re reference? Oh, unfortunately not. Can't really even say that I'm familiar with them. Uh, bleed build up. Um, thanks, Rings. What are you thanking Rings for making me play Hollow Knight over and over? Because that's the only thing I know that guy for. 
Okay, okay. Nope. Yes, and trap. Like a rat on the edge of the thing where it does not take damage. Anyway. Yu-Gi-Oh! Malastoth card. The little kid with the axe of the same shape. Wow, that is an interesting reference. But no, I, it is definitely God of War that they were going for with this one. It's, it's called the boy's axe because, you know, I was big memery at the time. <laughs> Only the biggest memes allowed on this channel. Take that. Ah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, now you're still here, mate. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Only the biggest boys. Only the big boy, big damage that you get out of the, boy, out of the big boy axe. <laughs> This is like that um that that burger place with the the statue in front of it. Ah, my body. It hurts. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So much for doing uh every challenge rift perfect in this run. Of course, how often do you expect there to be multiple challenge rifts? Not very often is what I would say. Usually it's something of a rarity. Ah. Mhm. Mm just go because I should be able to just go back and hit up the uh, I, I got the, I got the watermelon remember my Walter melons are still back there and ready to go challenge refs two curse chest one I'm kind of curious as to how that's gonna turn out at the end of the run here uh, uh, I'll become a T2 uh, tier 2 t uh, sub if you flawless the character but what about the time that I did flawless uh, the Five self spoiler boss. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I've done that before. Getting fit and funky, if that's your desire. <laughs> Gotta hurt your body. <laughs> Show Chivo. I didn't get the Chivo because I was using the um the the uh, uh, mushroom boy at the time. I had a I had a secondary item chosen from the beginning. Yeah, I ruined it by selecting an item. But I got a damn good showcase run out of it, if you ask me. And isn't that really what counts? Okay, you can still hit me from there, I see. Look, do you want achievements? Or do you want good showcase runs? Or do you want good television? I think the choice is clear. Come on. Yeah, that's what I want. With the fan here, that's exactly what I need. There we go. Oh, if you die to a slasher, you're bad. Well, I have many times. <laughs> Unless you mean like recently, which then, I don't know, sure. I can, I can see if I can do something about that. With the amount that I'm getting hit lately, maybe I should just, just, just go with this instead. <laughs> and in fact, let's just take a safe route right now. What's around today? We're doing Boy's Axe. I'm mostly using it as a secondary item, but it has still done some pretty good stuff in regards to, uh, to damage as well. Especially like when I was cursed there. And I think that's, uh, that's plan. Well, do I have open wound synergy on anything? The powerful grenade? I guess, I guess that's what I'm going to go for right, for right now. Maybe melee. That's, that's it. We want Chivo, Doc. Sorry, we don't make the rules. You explicitly make the rules. <laughs> look. Look. I know how this works. I do that all the time. When you say that you don't make the rules, you make the rules. I basically invented making the rules. I invented those rules that I made. Yeah, good range, like stopping power in spades. It's a good weapon. You do need some stats to get it working, but I mean, two challenge rifts. Of course, is uh, uh, helping out with that a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing it the wrong direction. <laughs> Whoops. That's what I meant to do. That was that was stupid of me. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not using uh, uh, fire blast now, so I mean, I, there was such an obsession with getting that at the at the beginning that it's like I've entirely forgotten why I wanted to get it. Well, at least for a couple seconds, whenever I see some sort of source of oil. Anyway, the legendary boys axe two. We'll see. I'm gonna say right now, probably not gonna happen. Ugh. But uh, it's not impossible. It's also not likely. 
man. Well, I mean, it's really not that much more powerful, so d d dump it. Love watching the doc stream while in class. You shouldn't be watching this while in. Oh wait, no, you're doing the you're doing the um doing class from like home sort of thing. Yeah, that that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> there, that's when I say, ah, you know what? Go for it. <laughs> I mean, you should be paying attention to your your studies and all that, but also, I get money. No, that's it. <laughs> like, um, I, I support things that give me money. In that. Because as you know, huge capitalist, except when I'm not. Uh, save money and buy a flask. I still do have to go get that flask, don't I? I mean, I don't have to necessarily get it right now, but... Crow's Wings 2 Electric Boogaloo. Please tell me that doesn't mean that I have C in the upper left corner right now. It's happened. It's been happening. Can't believe it's happening again. Starting school next week. Man, me? School's out not only for summer, but also forever for me. As you can probably tell by that reference I just made. Let me tell you, being out of school is pretty sweet. Although, to be fair, it's like I probably wouldn't have um, this sort of sweetness if I didn't go to school. So it is the eternal paradox. Think about that. Alright, there's Fire Blast. I, I feel like it's just... Do I even care at this point, though? Spite Sword, just fine. How close were we to 7k last month to unlist the... <laughs> no! I, I'm gonna make that like a channel point um, thing, where it's just like, unlist a VOD... Or, like, relist a VOD? What would you even say? See how much it destroys bosses. I mean, I, I am, I am a boy's axe uh, veteran. I know exactly how well it works vis-a-vis -vis bosses. It's just you know, it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to get a uh, dual binding sort of scenario to happen. I mean, maybe against like the first boss. Maybe if I get why did I do that? <laughs> maybe if I get very lucky. Who knows? Unless donut panda, donut. And, uh, I do not understand. Mm. <laughs> Fine, whatever, just face the wrong direction, I don't care. The donut panda. <laughs> what could that mean? <laughs> Spite Sword is such a beast of a weapon. I don't know, I mean, it's, surprisingly enough, I think that uh, the Poise Axe is kind of outdoing the damage on it. Uh, well, at least for, like, quick burst. Not for, like, sustained stuff. So it's, like, not terrible. It's just it could use a little bit uh, a little bit more work, obviously, with the build. You know, getting, like, a shield and everything if I wanted to truly use it. But I'm, you know, not really planning to be truly using the, the Spite Sword. It's just a nice, fast sword for right now. Hopefully that all made sense. <laughs> and there we go. Even the non-critical sword. I mean, at least it's nice and fast. It is a nice and fast hit that you can really rely on, which is why I like using it as a, as like, you know, a, kind of a general source of damage. As I've said in a lot of runs, it's like sometimes you don't really need anything too special in terms of weaponry. Sometimes you just... You just need uh, something that will do damage. Release the piss stream. <laughs> no! First off, there have been like seven. <laughs> Second off, uh, I deleted that VOD. I had said that earlier. By, a by accident. I mean, there are plenty of other forbidden streams to be released if you care. For example, the entirety of uh, Code Vein. <laughs> Put those up for public, uh, public consumption. You can just, uh, you can see my desperate attempts to, to uh, <laughs> dress up my pretty boy like a doll. That was fun. That was a fun game. I mean, it was an all right game, but it was a fun time to stream it. <laughs> Goldvein is, in fact, available. It's true. 
Cold Vein is just unlisted. It's true. But first off, there are, people have a hard enough time trying to find playlists in the first place. Much less ones that are unlisted. They would have to really go digging deep for it. All right. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Dying fish lady. Oh, yeah, the uh, invading executioner. Died to her um, for three hours. <laughs> like, three hours in a row. That was pretty fun. It wasn't, but that's why, that's part of the many reasons why that stream is not going up. Let's be a little bit cautious here. Fantasy Star 2. Oh, first off, I wasn't even recording anything when I was playing Fantasy Star 2. So there is nothing to be released. Finding your content is like digging for gold. Well, you should try harder. That's what I say. No, wait, I don't. I, I'm like just short. Like, all you gotta do is look at the playlist or search for stuff. I made people, I made fun of people, like, I don't know, in one of the recent streams for not knowing how to search for stuff on mobile. It's like, that's not, that's hardly my fault. Woof. There we are. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and done. Okay. Showcase planned? Oh, yeah. No, I got a... Uh, it is the Boys Axe showcase, as you can see by the amount of Boys Axe that I'm using right now. It's been getting a lot of... It's been getting some good use over the course of this run so far. Especially dealing with curses, it's nice to have something that can really hit at a distance. There we are. Yep. And you know what? I'm not going to go confine myself in a very small area to deal with an enemy when I have a ranged weapon. No reason for that. Get his regular boy's axe. The plan was maybe to do boy's axe and fire blast, but I couldn't really find a fire blast fast enough. So, that's it. Doc, don't woof. What? 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 Why? Why am I saying? <laughs> why? Why? Why can't I wolf? I think that's a, that's a good sh uh, ex a exclamation of shock or surprise. Just going like, "Oh, woof!" <laughs> he woofed. I did. <laughs> Bark with me if you're my dogs. Uh, okay. Slowly. Carefully. This is how life is taken. Just don't be a furry, please. No, I would never. Never, ever. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm disappointed. I have no idea. Is this Kaylee not a furry? I can't believe people still remember that dumb, dumb bit from I don't even know how long ago. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is... Oh, no, no. Don't forget. Gotta get that potion. Shrapnel Axe worked with Ripper. I mean, it's... I tried using it, but it seems like you need to hit with the actual melee part of the axe to make it work. And it's, it's like, that's too much. That's far too much. You know that I'm not up on all the cool kid videos that people are watching on TikTok and the like. On the ticks of talks. Yeah. Anyway. Let's continue going on here. Don't forget to set up channel points to have your voice act lines. And eh, just give me something right now. What are, you, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Like uh, some sort of line to say. And I will say it right now. Sing simple and clean. Do you really want me singing anything? Don't you? Speaking of like uh, old um, Dead Cells videos, don't you remember Wonderwall? If you don't remember Wonderwall, you should probably remember Wonderwall. It's a, uh, it was a, an important time, an important moment in the history of the channel, if I do say so myself. Yep. Bosses can still move even when under the effects of the boys' axe. It's just not nearly as much. Okay. And of course, I gain resistance to that pretty quickly. Okay. Okay, and like I said. Woof. 
Well, there was the wolf again. Sorry. <laughs> I think that was deserved, though. Getting the... Getting the, the bleed the bleed zone. A conservative Christian channel. Yeah, okay, okay. How about that? And <clears throat> this is a conservative Christian channel. This is a conservative Christian channel. This is a conservative Christian channel. This channel, both conservative and Christian. You might think it would be impossible to do two at once, but, well, we'll show you how wrong you are. Hello, it's me, both Christian and conservative, and this is my channel. <laughs> Please, well, come into my den of iniquity and conservatism and Christianity. Enunciation. <clears throat> Hello, this is my conservative Christian channel. Conservative Christian channel. <laughs> Here's some donkey donuts because you're epic. What do we got? Uh, it's, uh, I'll take it. I like I like a good swift snort. Ah. I'm Doc Firebird, and this is my favorite video on the interwebs. Okay. Anyway, uh, obviously not gonna be taking this right now. That's too bad. I was kind of hoping that it would be a boy's axe. Uh, aside from that, it's like, I guess I don't really, I don't want to spend money on get, on switching out my mutations, even if I really don't need the open wounds right now, since I have grinder. And it's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're currently getting to, to the point where it's like, I'm not even paying attention to the run itself because boys X is just good. It's just good. Hey, it's doing damage. It's rooting. It's everything you want. Like, look at that. Look, look at that sort of, like, level of breaching that I got there. Of course, there is, again, a level of, hey, I do have a lot of stats in this run. I've been quite lucky. So that's something to always remember. But it's like, even then, clearly this is a decent uh, weapon, either for primary or secondary usage. All that sort of stuff. Actually, just waiting for you to say, ah, 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 ah. right. Is that closer? <laughs> Rootin' and tootin'. Hey, golems don't matter with this because, you know, the, the whole deal with, uh, with the rooting is going to make sure that they can't punch me. Like, basically, their, their punch is entirely a non-issue right now, which is good for, hey, how do you dodge by that axe? Which is good for me. Okay. Speaking of each though. Take you out. Take you out. And anybody else over here? Yep. Not anymore, though. Okay. Me shouldn't be taking extra stats when you're doing runs so we can judge... <laughs> well, come on now. Look, sometimes there are some weapons... Like, the point is also to just, you know, do a run. <laughs> it's not really to be like... If I was doing, like, a better showcase, a better job showcasing stuff, I would, like, you know, actually list the DPS compared to, you know, other weapons of the same of a similar type. And they're very casual types of, of uh, showcase runs, is what I'm trying to say. What do we got? Hmm. I'll see if there might be something to do there. Yeah, what do you got? 254, inflammable oil, 50% of the... Da, da, da. Sure. I do like myself a good impaler when I can get it. It's not, like, the best weapon, but it is one that can just be used as, again, a, a fast, decent uh, melee weapon, and that sometimes that's all you need. All right. It wouldn't matter because the total number of stats in a run isn't constant anyway. I mean, that is true, but I do think that it's like, you, if you were really trying to do this right, you would probably want to get like, here's your average stats for a run instead of like a burning oil, bleeding. I mean, it's really, 
I guess like increasing the movement speed, but I don't even have the whatever. I'm just getting rid of it. Sometimes most efficient weapons on paper have pa have a bad feel, though. I don't know, man. I feel like uh, any weapon that can kill an enemy has a good feel. <laughs> and ones that can't will be thrown into the pit. Back to the pit. Anyway, dies the I'm not gonna die to a golem. I'm telling you right now that it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna throw boys axe at it and then it won't be able to punch me. That's that's just like a that, that's your basic combination when it comes to this weapon, if I do say so myself. What about lightning bolt? Well, lightning bolt just feels bad. It does not kill things very efficiently either. <laughs> it kills me pretty efficiently, which you know I'm gonna say is probably points in the other direction. <laughs> At least that's what uh, that's that's what my heart says. Okay, what do we got down here? Well, we'll be able to see this in due time. After hey, in due time. After all, for example, there's a golem right down there. Time to prove all of chat wrong. Watch. Don't watch that part. Please, please avert your eyes from that part. But uh, everything else that happened there. See? And you were worried. I'm tired, so I'm going to dip out. Okay, bye, Alex. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Like I said, one of the best... Um, one of the best things you can do is just uh, your basic... Uh, no, I've actually forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> Never mind then. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess it's going to have to be Clock Tower or Sepulchre. What are you thinking this time? I could go either. Because I am going to... I mean, that's karma for trying to show the chat something. <laughs> How dare I show, show, you, show you something. Anyway. Okay, we good? We good? Yeah. All right then. Stats, sepulcher, giant throne. Well, I did. I don't know about going to the giant at this time. This is not really a very great run for gianting, if I, if I'm gonna like uh, say anything, because it does seem, because although it just seems pretty good right now, it does have the issue of like the boys axe not really doing too much to the actual giant fists themselves. Yeah. That said, I mean, Sepulchre, I think, is easy. Easier, but I go to the Clock Tower less because Sepulchre is easier. <laughs> so, I don't know. Kind of any opinions here? Any opinions? Clock Tower, Clock Tower. Should ever all have the same stats? Well, I mean, yeah, they should all have the same stats. Oh, man, that's good. Um, should all they, they should all have the same stats, but... Well, you know, I do also have a little bit of burning oil synergy right now. And everything else I do have spreads. Now, eh, let's take it. Sure. And maybe I can also look for, like, an upgrade for the boy's axe as well, if you want to give me that. Nope. It does not. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. I did two boss out last night with an ice shard oil grenade and... Uh, before Ice Shard and Oil Grenade got ver got nerfed, uh, Stomp 3 4 boss cell after, after though, fair and square. Okay, then. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Two boss cell, especially if you're playing, like, a uh, mobile or something. Oh, right. I forgot what weapon I'm using right now. Uh, yeah, especially if you're playing mobile, which does not have, like, the current uh, updates. It's like, yeah, take advantage of it when you possibly can. Why not? Oh, yeah. Can't forget. Nah. Gotcha. Can't forget about demons being immune to fire. That is kind of a problem. Hey, stop that. Now then. Uh, it's not great, but... Uh, yeah, I was seeing people say Clock Tower. You thinking Clock Tower? I'll just... I will... I will um, do whatever the next person tells me for a Sepulchre or Clock Tower. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I was just saying earlier that it's like I, I accidentally deleted the run. So, yeah, I did. I did do Fire Blast earlier, but, you know. I'm seeing Clock Tower, Clock Tower. Okay, we'll do Clock Tower then. Unfortunately, at the same time, I also do need to go and 
take care of this here issue known as a cursed chest. There we go. Ah, it had to be the last place I looked, eh? Couldn't have possibly found it before this. Well, I can only hope that I'm not going to die here. But I suppose we'll see. Hey, a colorless giant killer. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I'm going to do that. I do like myself a, a colorless giant killer. Anyway. I should also take care of all of the other issues that I have been approaching for this run. Huh? Oh, just didn't notice? Oh, okay. Um, sure. I thought this was a conservative Christian channel. Uh, no, no, no. I'm your conservative Christian host. This is not a conservative Christian channel. Entirely. Just one person. Me. Me, colon, close parentheses. Okay. Good. Getting closer to being able to take care of this. This is the last like, major curse that I should be finding in the game if I'm going Clock Tower. So, taking this out is kind of uh, important. <laughs> Semi-capitalist, conservative Christian? I would say mostly capitalist. <sighs> Almost got that working there, which would have been nice. Fortunately, yeah, that's that's going to be annoying to try and get to. I think it's probably more worthwhile to just kind of uh, go around elsewhere. Thought it was a Ratatouille fan channel. <laughs> no, no, you're just fooled by the amount of rats that tend to appear on the channel. <laughs> many, many rats. And where rats and the like. What do you got in here? Is there anything else that I'd really want to get? I suppose this is all right. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, eh. Okay. Okay. Okay, they didn't see me. No, that's... There we are. Just sniping dudes from far away. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is, this is working. To be honest, I could probably go Giant Killer now. So, uh, do you want me to go for a uh, the the cavern instead? I think with Giant Killer, I could probably make it happen. Maybe. Yeah, go Giant, go Giant, Dock Tower, Dock Tower. <laughs> well, that is pretty tempting just by itself. Uh, skip the castle, and, well, there's the distillery. You can go there. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people say cavern, to be honest. Like I said, I do think I can probably... Uh... Cavern, that's what you need to do. Yeah, cavern. Wait, this is all just the same person. Oh, well, let's go. And McFaddy, which I'll count uh, going into the cavern as um, the 15,000 points he spent uh, on a non-game. <laughs> I think that's fair. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Soldiers resistance still, yeah. Disengagement seems like a pretty good idea. And to be honest, let's go dead inside just to be, just to be sure. Is Castle Skip worth it, worth it with a stat scroll rework? Yes. Yep. I want to say so. Wait, I missed a few screen, streams and you've enabled subs? Oh, boy. That's a few streams. <laughs> 
peer pressure. Yes. Of course. Forcing Doc to play chess, chess against the highest level bot until he wins. I feel like that's a too excessive of a request. So you would have to come up with something different than that. Good hit. A lot of good hits going on here. There we go. Anyway. Worked out well. I can only hope that I'm not going to get a cursed chest in this area. This is a cursed chest right now, isn't it? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Ooh, wave denial. Uh, Cleaver? All right, let's go. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still going to take the curse chest because, you know, stats. But it's also like, oh boy. <laughs> FIFA online? Uh, not online. Can't be online. Got it. Got him. Let's just kind of watch out for that dude there. Still want to... I'm still very worried about uh, curses, especially in this global climate. Good. Of curses. Okay. Yeah, I knew you were going to be coming for me. Saw me just right out of the corner of your eyes. You tiny, tiny demon eyes. Okay. Can I just... No, it's not going to deflect back correctly. All right, well, uh, let's try the other, other area. All right, all right, all right. Uh, how about FIFA Online? Just not online. It can be FIFA, but can't be online. That's the only request. Well, request. That's the only demand that I have. Okay. One more. I don't really feel all that confident going up against him, but I only need to kill one more fellow here. What's the best weapon to use for getting as many criticals as possible? I mean, I was just talking about, like, uh, Fire Blast. Fire Blast has a very high tick rate, as you know, and will uh, get criticals if something has a... Good. That'll do it. And will get criticals as long as something is covered in oil. So you can really, really get a lot of criticals if you're just going for that. Uh, for whatever reason. <laughs> How about Moonlighter? Eh. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't all that interested in Moonlighter back in the day because it just kind of looked, eh, eh, you know. Moonlighter is just, it's just kind of, eh. 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 Well, there's that again. Um, State of Stiletto and Open Wounds. Also a very good way to do that. But I think if you're just going for, like, criticals per second, then, um... There we go. If you're going like criticals per second, then it's like a really fire blast works out pretty good. Because I, I struggle to think of anything that shoots that quickly that also has some sort of like very easy to fulfill critical condition like that one does. Like maybe quick bow, but you do have to get three arrows in it first, and that does run out of uh, out of ammo eventually. Whereas, Fire Blast does not. <laughs> Good shooting there, Tex. All right, there we go. Moon for the PS One. I don't know what that is. You were saying about that? Uh, talking about that, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't actually know. I am not familiar with that game. Right? How about Hyper Life Drifter? Hyper Light Drifter? You've clearly never played that before. What? Hyper Light, well, I mean, I guess you'd have to try. It's impo It's literally impossible to tell if I've, if I've played that before or not. Literally impossible to tell. <laughs> Japanese cult classic RPG. Uh, I'm not familiar with it at all. You feeling for some views tonight? Feeling? What, uh, people can go watch either the first or second time that I played uh, I've Lived Drifter anytime they want. 
I mean, it's just right on the channel, you know? It's not like I try to hide it. <laughs> ah, you know what, whatever. I'm not even going to bother with you. It's not worth it. Moon came out in 1997, and it's now getting localized to English. Some describe it as an anti-RPG. Oh, well, what... I, I suppose it depends on what you mean by anti-RPG. Because that can either break good or bad. Or very bad. I, it just, uh, the... The important details are still unknown to me. Run it by chat first, or run it by me first. I'll tell you if I've played the game before or whatever, if you want to be all like, hey, I want you to go into this blind, and I'm like, I played that game 15 years ago. Okay. Or I've watched several playthroughs of it on YouTube, which is very true for a lot of games. For example, for example, were you thinking about uh, suggesting Lisa the Painful? Well, I've already watched playthroughs of Lisa the First, Lisa the Painful, and Lisa the Joyful. I made Sidney Gallo's reference back in uh, Darksiders, after all. Okay. Mm, let's keep going here. It's looking pretty good. Moon was widely praised for its innovation as seen as a game that breaks the norm of conventional role-playing games, parodying many aspects of the genre itself. Well, it, parody is one thing, but again, it depends on what sort of parody it is. Like, what if I go, go, like, I think about, like, parody games, the first thing that always comes to mind is Pist. <laughs> P-Y-S-T, the parody of Mist, starring John Goodman, which is pretty wacky in retrospect. John Goodman getting a paycheck. You should play Potato Thriller. I have watched a full playthrough of Potato Thriller on YouTube. Yes, including the part with all the, the um, PT stuff. So there wouldn't really be too much to talk about there. Okay. Uh, Flamethrower turret, honestly, maybe would be the thing to get right now. Yeah. Get that extra damage reduction, too. Okay. I think it's wacky in style, but not straight up making fun of stuff. You watch playthroughs of Subnautica? Uh, not really a whole lot. I don't really do know too much about that game. I mean, you know me and, like, exploration game type of stuff. I mean, if you don't, uh, Rain World, I think, is probably the most recent one that I would describe as that. Oh, playing Hitman Blood Money? I've never actually played any of the Hitman games. I have, of course, watched playthroughs of the Hitman games. They seem pretty fun, but, eh, I don't know. Like, the only real big stealth oriented game that I've seen is, like, Metal Gear games, and that's because I like the uh, story more than anything else. Good. And Remnant from the Ashes? People have talked about that. I don't I don't know anything about it. I think I keep confusing it with that one game that came out that was also like Dark Souls Ashen. <laughs> uh, let's see. But if you are looking forward to RPGs, I mean, first off, that do have Persona. Which I don't, I don't know if that's a game I would recommend if you're looking forward to RPGs. Uh, but also, I'm going to be doing Final Fantasy VI pretty soon as well. So, yeah. Or Crosscode. Go watch Crosscode. That game's great. <laughs> that game is absolutely fantastic, and was a much, a much better game than I thought it was going to be going into it initially. Had a, um, had a really good time with it. Also, real long RPG. It's a big one. <laughs> Recommend Blood Money. It's old, but there's so many ways to finish the missions. It's amazing. Humans continually shooting uh, fireballs and not getting hit because of the roll cooldown is complete and total mood. Well, I mean, it's not even so much that, but also the, uh, the wave of denial is very, very good at countering those guys. Which, I hate demons, so that's good for me. <laughs> I'm not looking at it from their perspective. If they didn't, if they wanted me to be more sympathetic towards them, they would stop attacking me. There we are. Oh, all right, all right. Recommend blood money. Oh yeah, no, that was just a blood money message I saw earlier. Why aren't quality options available? I don't know. I just don't get them for some reason. People have talked about that a lot. I also stream at like weird resolutions for some reason. 
Oh my god. Incredible superstar. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. They are demons. I mean, that's also true. <laughs> you know, speaking of dark side, it's just like that was another thing where it's just like you know, demons are kind of defined by their evil. <laughs> like you don't really get, you don't really encounter a whole lot of like you demons in uh, stone soup terms. Mostly Keiko demons. Mm, there we go. I'm gonna go grab that and see what's going on here. All oh, right, 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 Dad inside. Shouldn't forget. All right, all right. Let's get back up here and get into the uh, the thing. I mean, I was just about to be forced to be played uh, Twisted Tales of Spike, Spike McFang, which was... Oh, boy, that's one of those weird games that was based on an anime, I think, but that got changed. Or, no, wait. No, I was thinking of Decap Attack. Oh, man, what is... I think Spike McFang might actually be an original one, but that's a uh, that's um cute vampire propaganda, of course. What's the best way to cook chicken? I like uh, cutting a chicken breast in half, uh, stuffing it with cream cheese, and then wrapping it with bacon. <laughs> Any other questions? Still doing this, by the way. Yeah. Bah, bah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. You know what? I'm just. Sounds like a great diet option. I mean, if you're on uh, uh, Atkins, it would probably be a great diet option. Okay, let's just do that. Yep, that's a good idea. That's why I thought that I was going to be really good against the Giant as of right now. Make sure that you cook it at a high temperature for like 10 minutes first, because otherwise the um, the bacon won't be crispy enough. And trust me, you're going to want that bacon crispy. It's one of the best parts of the whole thing. But uh, throwing it at like a higher temperature, I usually do about 400, uh, 450, 420F. I don't know what that is, C. Uh, is for like 10 minutes. And then lower it down to about like 350 for uh, for cooking the rest of it. Feel like I'm the only one that hates giant killer. It's good against bosses, and I feel like bosses are just the 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 enemy type that I have the most trouble with. Uh, 215C to 175C. Thank you <laughs> for all of you people that use sensible ways to measure temperature. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh. Yeah, this is this is looking good. Of course, it's like needless to say, the um the 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 boy's axe did not really get too much play in that fight. It will in this fight. There's no reason not to be using this as much as possible. Giant killer just feels too good to use. I don't know. It's like with with boy's axe bringing it up for going through biomes and then giant killer for boss fights. I think it's a great combination actually. But as you can see, it's like the whole. Uh, get a little bit of extra damage here, just... Yeah. Getting a little bit of extra damage just purely from the boy's axe at the same time that I can also... It, like I said, it doesn't really do too much for preventing him from moving around, but it does do enough to, to be a little bit useful. Ah, I didn't quite get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Done. Good fight. Giant Killer is good against normal enemies, too. The first two hits are very fast, while the third and fourth deal lots of damage. I don't know. I feel like that's something that you definitely want to have. Giant Killer is definitely an item that you want to have, like, good secondary items. For example, the, the boy's axe kind of backing you up. Because it, it does, it's pretty low base damage. It's just really good critical damage, of course. The true intellectual is me measuring stone. <laughs> yeah. Gonna get that in Kelvin. Isn't that just like add 120 degrees to whatever it is? Also, what are you cooking in a gas star? <laughs> uh, 
more of a thing that I have with slow combos, and that's why Dead Cells is awesome. Everybody likes something different. Yep. I mean, the slow weapons are rough to use, and this is a survival weapon after all. It's fairly fast, but those first two hits are so weak. They're so ridiculously weak that it's like, it's it's really going to be way more worthwhile just to throw the, bo throw the boy's axe out and leave it at that. And for example, there we go. That's, that's that good combo that I was talking about, getting behind enemies and then taking them out very easily. 273. Well, okay. Hey, look, I'm not a, I'm not a chemist. That's not what I got my doctorate in. That sucks. There. Uh, anyway. <laughs> got switched to pure survival? No, uh, no, this is, um, this is a colorless version that I happened to get, which is why I... And, well, that and the fact that I got it in um, a pretty late game means that it's, like, working very, very well for this part of the game. Otherwise, it would normally be survival brutality scaling, if I'm not wrong. There was that time that uh, Motion Twin tried to make it so that uh, all of, like, the major survival scaling uh, melee items were only survival scaling, but... Ha! Here comes the jams. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Right into the flamethrower turret. Yeah, I remember survival brutality. Okay. And I could probably have switched it out there, but nah, 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 it's fine. Looking pretty good for like stats. Looking pretty good for well everything. I'm just gonna say this is a good looking run. This is a run that you can. Uh, get out of the way of librarians with. There we go. Ah, uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Boy's X really killing it, though, like I said, in regular biomes. It's just, when it comes to bosses, clearly, I, I just want, like, a little bit more firepower. Just, it's it's the whole, like, uh, one-shotting everything right now that is, like, super good, as well as the interrupt, of course. All right. It's not really all that much more powerful than what I have. Hmm. I could just phase her. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad option. You know what? I'm going to take it. I don't really need the wave of denial. I mostly wanted it for the giant fight. So I can dump that and get to, like, big boy big hits here. Yeah. What's the run? It is boy's axe. It is, in fact, boy's axe. Okay. Yep. Almost got me there. Not enough, though. There we go. But yeah, you can see that's what I'm talking about, where it's just like, this is a good combination, just because, like, the boys actually clearly doing way more damage on regular enemies. I mean, as of right now, it's kind of like partially boys axe, partially um, giant killer. But giant killer is something that works well with this, so I think it's totally justified. Now, nah, whatever. There we go. Oh, as a Sc Wisconsinite, what's your favorite cheese? Just a very sharp cheddar, basically. You know, ba the sort of thing that I would wear on my head to a sports game that I probably would not attend. Because, you know, I'm a nerd. I'm too busy recalculating my calculators. All right. Let's see what else we got here, because I hate the weird spawn here. Uh, oh, I'm just short. Good. Like 20,000. 20, 20,000 is all you need. It's like bad medicine. Wow. Also black. <laughs> Come on now. Having enemies that block things. Okay, there we go. Good. Having enemies that are blocking things are not really helping me out here. We good? We good? I think we're great. Okay. That means I'm out of here and I'm going to go buy that potion charge. And then maybe use it before the end of this. Just because. This seems like a pretty good idea. Okay, well, that works, too.
Good and alien key. All right. Let's move on out. You're a Chad. If you play Dead Cells, you're a true Chad. I don't know. I feel like uh, everybody would disagree. <laughs> I feel like there is nobody that would agree with that at all. In the history of mankind, somehow everybody's opinions have all united to this one moment. No, not for any sort of like peace or, you know, charitable thing, but merely to prove me wrong that I am not a Chad. Okay, okay, and still not quite enough to take those guys out in one hit, but I suppose that's not that big of a deal. Good, good. And Spartan Sandals, not really the time. Phaser, getting some good usage out of that in a weird way. Bruh. Well, now's the point in time to use this. Yeah, definitely. Of any time that I've seen so far, this is the one. All right, cool. Spartan Sandals seems like a good utility for voice acts. I suppose, but like you get extra damage by hitting enemies into walls. So it seems like something that would be rooting enemies into place would probably not be a great idea. Don't get hit by those guys. Maybe the most embarrassing death that I've had still was getting killed by one of the defenders. That's just horrible. Uh, whatever, doesn't really matter. Good, good. Ha! <laughs> Catching him in the in midair with the axe. That was some good play. All right. Should be able to get up here. And while nice, it doesn't really matter because I have that inside. So, food? Not going to do me too much of anything. All right. Uh, when requesting a game, so we can request it as ASMR too. That depends on what game. You know what? It has to be a game that's built for ASMR. And then, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I guess. Good, good, and let's go. Feeling pretty saucy. Ah. Spartan Sandals' Valmont is a full Greek run. <laughs> I'm not sure you could probably throw something else in there. Well, no, wouldn't it be a Bazooki? It would be Bazooki and, and Spartan Sandals, right? Wins Risk of Rain 2 ASMR run after this run right now. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't even know what outfit this is. Just a bright green one. You see, if I do it ASMR, I can put a fan on in the background and I'll just be all like, it's white noise. <laughs> Let's go. Ain't this the retro Game Boy outfit? If that's a new thing in the game, I've entirely missed it. Yeah, brah. <laughs> brah again. Well, no perfect fight. Not that I really expect that to happen anyway. Oh, no, I want the... The plan was to hit him with the... Phaser and Boy's Axe to get the most usage out of that. Anyway, stream very early today. Any reason? I, I, like, I just didn't want to do a regular episode of Dead Cells, basically. So we're doing a stream. That's it. <laughs> I didn't do a stream on, on um, Saturday because, well, I also didn't feel like doing a stream there. And I did, like, two episodes, what with the whole... Uh... Give me a second. I got this. Well, no. Oh, and that wasn't enough to hit him anyway. Whatever, it's good. Yeah, I was adding along with the retro music. I completely missed that. Oh, so this I didn't even realize this was a new outfit. Interesting. Oh, I did not know he was going to continue to attack me. Uh, ah. I can at least, like, try and get him out of the spin attack if I... Yeah, here we go. 
if I uh, hit him with a boy's axe, but I haven't been doing that right. If you one-shot the collector, would it skip all phases? No, he stays at one HP. Uh, I have actually tried like doing this without the panacea and everything. It does not work. Um, you you can't finish the fight unless you have the panacea, basically. So even if you got him all the way down, he would just stay at one HP until he healed again. It's unfortunate, but it's uh, no traditional fight. With the dude. This should probably be enough to throw him into the... Yeah? Here, let's at least finish this up. Not with the uh, giant killer, but with the... Uh, um, boy's axe. There we go. Cool. What exactly is a panacea? Uh, it is a legendary medicine that can cure any disease. I think it's... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it from India? Is it Indian mythology? Somebody correct me on that, but I don't know. I have the panacea. That's what I just drank. <laughs> When's the crow's feet only run? Ah, I'll leave that one for after we're done with everything else. What TV shows are you watching? Oh, I'm not really watching anything right now. Mid 16th century via Latin and Greek uh, panache panachea from panachea. Oh, I'm not pronouncing that right at all. All healing from pan, pan all and akos remedy. Huh. I thought. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, saw uh, Greek. There you go. <laughs> I thought that was like Mithridate or something that was like the equivalent. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, runs over and it was a good one. Boys X, ah, oh, still pretty great. <laughs>